No one my granddaughter come to see me in Connecticut, she want crepe for breakfast. And I will show you how to make it really easy and very fast. Putting the heat on now, and by the time, I'm gonna put a tablespoon of butter in there. And by the time that butter is ready, my crepe batter is ready. I have about half a cup of flour there. The proportion are not very important. A tiny dash of uh, sugar, salt, one egg. I'm putting a dash of uh, milk in it. Then I mix it. You don't want to put too much milk to start with. I'll show you what, because you want the mixture to be thick. If the mixture is thick, like it is here, then the thread of the whisk can go through it and liquefy it to make it really smooth. What I mean is that if you put all the liquid in it, you mix it, you have nice little dumpling all over the place. Yeah. But now that it's thick like this, then I can put the rest of the milk a little more. I want a crepe batter very thin. If you have a crepe batter which is thin, you do very crepe, which we call crepe dentelle. Which I'll, see you. I'll show you what the crepe dentelle are. Now this is melted. I'm putting it in there and I'm ready for my first crepe. That's it. Now the first crepe is usually for the dog, but the dog is not here today. Don't be afraid if you didn't put enough batter. I can always add a little more. Better to put less than more. Now when you see getting brown at the edge here, I usually you can flip it, but sometimes it's harder. Probably it with one hand and turn it over. This is the first side of the crepe. It's always the nicest one. First time. And what you do when it finish cooking, like close to finish now, I can flip it at that point. And I will slide it on my plate so that when I turn it, the first side which is nicer shows. Now the secret of a thin crepe is that you don't put it in the middle. You don't put your butter in the middle, you put it on one side and spread very fast all around. You see? I didn't even put enough, but it doesn't really matter. I add more. Again, and you don't have to put any butter in between, although Julia would have wanted me to put butter in between. She did. Now it's nice and brown. You see, I have one crepe when my daughter, granddaughter is there. She sits on the other side of the, of the counter. My daughter did the same thing when she was small. We have a jar of jam. She take apricot jam and even chocolate. She grated it with one of those grater. You see, let's say I put too much in it. That's the opposite of what I did before. Then put it back in your pan right away. Of course, what happened here you're going to have a lip. Doesn't really matter, you can always cut the lip and remove it. You know, this way, it's better, as I said, to put less than more. And this is not a crepe pan, it's just a non-stick pan, eight, eight, nine inches, whatever. Crepe pan often are very small and I don't see the point. Sometimes I do it even on a bigger pan. So I give one or two per person. So again, as you see, the nice side will be here when I fold it. And that's all there is to make crepe. And now I will show you how to make crepe Suzette. Originally, the crepe Suzette were done at the table of the customer with lump of sugar that were rubbed into the skin of the orange. They become all orange because of the skin, the essential oil, and they were crushed in the pan with sugar and eventually butter and mixed with Grand Marnier and Cognac. We do it easier nowadays. I'm gonna put a piece of uh, butter to start with. And then use that miracle thing here to do for the orange zest. Going a bit too fast there. And then now I'm gonna put the juice. Now let's see. I put sugar in there. Because we wanna do a caramel eventually and then the juice of the orange. That is the base 
of the crepe Suzette. So here I have yeah, that mixture of sugar, orange juice, orange juice, all of this, and what you want to do now is to dip your crepes in it and you want to cook them a little bit so they caramelize. So, you see what I do? I dip them on the side to then fold them in two and in two again. I'm going to dip it this way and then down and in four. I'll do like four crepes at the time, which would be two portions here. Fold them here and in two again. Again here. I want to get the taste here, you see, fold it again, and four, and now I should have my four crepes in one layer here, and now they will caramelize. They should be pretty close now. I can fold it, yeah. And cognac, move this a little bit. Don't look at it when you put the alcohol in it. And we will continue to flambe a little bit. And now you can get them one by one or pull them again. Well, I think the sugar. Caramelizing and beautiful color here. Here. Three. Four crepe. With a little bit of the caramel on top. But Usually you would not even serve them in a platter. You would go around and serve one crepe per person directly into your diner plate. And that's how I make my crepe Suzette.